What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon Schuster and today uh, we're going to be deep diving into a uh, property uh, in the Milwaukee area that uh, is a great investment opportunity. Um, I'm going to show you uh, what I look at uh, in terms of you know what to look for in the property as well as um, break down the numbers of the property. Um, this is going to be the first video in a video series I do where I analyze properties in various cities around the country. I'll be adding tidbits of information um, and advice into the videos where I see fit, such as you know where tax write-offs can be uh, provided or you know value-add opportunities, etc. Um, I'm going to go over the property, uh, its images, and just a quick overview. Uh, I'm going to go over the numbers and the financing on the property, as well as uh, final cash flows, and um, and then I'll conclude. So uh, let's get started with this first property. So this property is located in the Milwaukee area. Um, it is a seven unit property in the West Dallas area. So seven units means seven apartment units. Uh, it consists of one two bedroom unit and then six studios. Uh, <clears throat> I contacted the realtor or the agent and um, the two bedroom rents for $975 a month and the studios rent for $675 a month. So in total, you'll be able to gross uh, roughly $5,100 per month, which is great cash flow. Uh, going over the property images, as you can see, it's a pretty well built uh, property. The landscaping is, is pretty nice as well. Uh, where I see um, a lot of opportunity in this property is um, in pictures like uh, this here, this kitchen, or this living room here. Uh, this is a great uh, property that can be value add. So as you can see this kitchen, uh, it's pretty old. Uh, the appliances look pretty old, the cupboards look pretty old. So you could easily um, go into this property, purchase it, and renovate it. Um, you could insert new appliances, a new stove, a new fridge. You could insert new cupboards and uh, potentially new flooring um, in the living room area here. New windows, new blinds, new carpet, maybe a new door. These are all examples of great value-add opportunities to this property. And as you renovate uh, the, the units, uh, the uh, rent prices are able to increase, which in turn increases the value of the property which is very advantageous for the owner. Additionally, what's adv advantageous about the value add opportunity is that banks generally will uh, finance your renovations. So the bank will provide you uh, a loan uh, to uh, purchase whatever you need in terms of renovations, and uh, they will provide you the necessary funds to do so, which is a win-win in my book. But <clears throat> we'll, uh, we'll start to break down the numbers here on the property. Um, I'll go through just a couple more images for you so you can get a general idea of what the property looks like. Uh, it's fully rented right now, which is certainly uh, nice for an investor. So I'm going to be using this investment uh, property analysis tool. Uh, this is not my tool. This tool is from Rental Robert. Uh, I will have his uh, information down below in the description of the video. Um, I give full credit to him for this calculator that he put together on Excel, um, but we're gonna get started. So the purchase price of the property is uh, 475 k as you can see right here. So we'll just input that here. So this property is a commercial property because it's above four units. A residential property is considered one to four units, and this is a commercial property. Commercial properties generally consist of five units or more. Um, so with commercial properties, you're generally going to need a 20 to 25 percent down payment. For the sake of this example, we'll go with 20 percent, which spits out uh, $95,000. The loan term is generally uh, 30 years, and uh, currently uh, interest rates are between 5 and 6 percent. They are actually fairly high. Um, they used to be 3 percent earlier in the year, in uh, earlier in 2022, but right now they're about... 5.3% roughly um, with expected increases in the near future. Um, what's great about Realtor.com is they actually provide a monthly payment estimator. So as you can see here, uh, a, 
a general loan 30 year fixed at a 5.296%. So we're going to stick with that for now. So we'll put in um, 5.6. So that uh, gives you a principal and interest of uh, roughly $2,100. So that's going to be uh, your mortgage payment to the bank or the lender, uh, $2,100 for this. It's important to note that these are estimates. These are not exact. Everyone's situation is different. But this is a great general uh, example for for this uh, property. Uh, next, we'll move on to the income or the, the rent roll. So as I stated before, the two-bedroom unit is renting for $9.75 a month. And then the six studios are renting for $6.75 a month. So I'm going to drag down the $675 to seven, uh, no, 7 units, which gives you a gross rental income monthly of $5,025. $5, We're going to leave the extra revenue uh, or laundry revenue blank for now since we don't really know um, if there is any extra revenue opportunity. But if you multiply the $5,025 by 12, uh, for a yearly gross income of sixty thousand three hundred dollars, which is <clears throat> certainly a great uh, investment opportunity, but what's important is we take into the expenses as well. So we'll move on to the right here, and we'll uh, begin to insert our expenses. So starting with taxes, uh, realtor does provide uh, the taxes for the property. So this is going to be roughly six hundred seventy-six dollars a month. So we'll input that. And insurance, uh, we'll put in uh, $79 as Realtor.com states. As I stated before, these are probably generally estimates. Uh, these are not certain um, or set in stone, but for the sake of this example, these are great uh, ex uh, baseline numbers to use. Um, we'll leave all these other expenses blank as uh, I do not know who pays those, whether the tenant or the landlord pays those. For So for this example, we'll leave them blank. Um, scrolling down here to the maintenance, uh, we'll leave it at 10% um, simply because there are value add opportunities. Um, so maintenance will probably be necessary. In terms of vacancy, um, generally uh, most people put 5% for vacancy, which is a pretty good baseline. Uh, for this sake, we'll put zero just because we know for a fact that each um, unit is rented. Now, um, I do not know if each tenant is on a month-to-month -month lease or a yearly lease, but for the sake of this, we'll put zero since we know that they are fully rented uh, right now. Management. So management, either you could self-manage or you could... Uh, uh, use a property management company generally they take around eight percent um, but uh, we'll, we'll leave it at zero for now just um, because um, you know if it's your first property generally um, people try to self-manage um, just to you know learn the basics of managing and owning a property excuse me so this leads to a roughly twelve hundred dollar monthly expense and which <clears throat> leads to uh, fifteen thousand uh, dollars yearly. So we'll scroll down next to the returns. This is the cash flow and return metrics that um, are very important to to notice in a property. So as you can see, the net operating income is forty five thousand two hundred ten dollars. Where we got that number is the gross yearly income of six sixty thousand three hundred, and then. Uh, we subtracted the yearly expense of fifteen thousand uh, dollars, and uh, the cap rate is going to be nine point five percent, and the cash on cash return is twenty point nine five percent. Now I'll get more uh, in detail um, in terms of cap rate and cash on cash return in a separate video, but um, I generally like to look at cash on cash return. And 10% is generally a good baseline. And so the fact that this uh, property is giving basically a 21% cash on cash return um, is an insane value and would be a great investment opportunity for a, an investor. Breaking down the cash flow just a little bit more, uh, your monthly NOI is going to be $3,700. Uh, we'll, we, <clears throat> excuse me, we will need to subtract the 
uh, principal and interest or the mortgage payment of 2100 which leaves you with a uh, cash flow of $1,600 roughly. Now it's important to know that this 3700 is basically the gross monthly income subtracted subtracting uh, the monthly expense which gives you 37 then you subtract the principal and interest and it gives you a sixteen hundred dollar cash flow per month which is pure profit guys that's important to note this is what makes real estate so special and what what makes cash flow so special each month I'm, I'm gonna be collecting a check if I were to invest in this property for sixteen hundred dollars that's what's left over after I pay my mortgage and <clears throat> if you multiply that by 12 at a yearly basis you'll be making basically twenty thousand dollars a year uh, in pure passive cash flow now add that to a full-time job that you have you'll be able to add an extra 20k to whatever your salary is you're making pretty good money there on top of that as the months go on you'll be paying down the interest uh, you'll be paying down the principal to the property which gives you more equity in the property which then leads um, to appreciation in the property as well uh, real estate is great at appreciating and additionally uh, <clears throat> excuse me real estate provides uh, tax write-offs tax deductions or tax depreciation so you'll be, able, you'll be able to take advantage of that as well uh, but just going back to the cash flow twenty thousand dollars a year that's a great return on your money twenty point nine five percent cash on cash return great opportunity for this um, so this this calculator is what I use generally to evaluate properties and just look at um, break it down and look at the numbers um, in a, a, a deeper view um, so this is the Milwaukee area uh, which is a great area I'm, I'm from the Milwaukee area so I'm familiar with this um, this would be a great opportunity uh, for anyone in the Milwaukee area who watches or um, just to get an idea of what it, what a great um, investment uh, deal looks like in other cities as well. Um, so <clears throat> any questions you guys, please feel free to leave in the comments. I wanted to make this video. Um, it's the start of a series where I'll be going over stuff, um, different properties like this in different cities around the country. I'm going to stick to America and I'll be uh, showing you know basic property overview and then I'll be deep diving using the uh, investment property calculator on Excel that I just showed you and um, you know if if you guys want to see any cities uh, feel free to drop them down below I'll definitely find your city and do that um, again this is the first video in the series and uh, please stay tuned for more so thank you guys for watching this is just the start and um, I appreciate your time have a great one